Alrighty. So the movie that we watched last week was... Super Mario Brothers. And if the title leads you to believe that this is about Super Mario Brothers, you'd be well, 90% wrong. It's... <laughs> I guess... <ooh. laughs> There's only three parts to it, so you'd be 60, 66% wrong. Okay. Th technically, they are Marios. <laughs> But they are neither super nor are they brothers. No. Okay. So. This is a movie based off of the obviously based off of the most popular <laughs> video game of all time. I think. Yeah, ever. Like the most popular franchise video games of all time, and it has literally nothing to do with the game. Except nothing at all. For the main characters are named Mario and Luigi, yes. and they are plumbers. They I are was plumbers. Hoping we would, but we would get at least like one of the "It's a me, Mario." Like the classic like, <laughs> racist. But no. It's a me, yeah, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Giuseppe, how about this? <laughs> oh, Giuseppe, this is supposed to be the ball. <laughs> no. Instead, we got Bob Hoskins, <laughs> who is an Englishman, and John, John Leguizamo, who is Hispanic, <laughs> playing Ital Italian people. This movie, whoa! <laughs> I looked at you a couple times during this movie, and I was like, "We've got to, we've got to really come to the understanding that this might be one of the worst movies we've ever watched." <laughs> it was like close to theater Rex, I would it dare was, to say. Like it's in the top. It's it's <laughs> definitely in the top ten. I might venture to say the top five worst movies we've ever seen. Yes. Maybe maybe top. I'd say top ten. Maybe top not 10. top five. Yeah, top five is. It's tough to break them to that top five yeah. with Food Fight and Theodore Rex and Food Fight's so bad. <laughs> anyway, Super Mario <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> it starts with them living in Brooklyn. Um, they're unsuccessful plumbers. They're waiting around for like plumbing calls like the they're, Ghostbusters, they're I guess. They're being like, sabotaged by like another plumbing <clears throat> company. Yeah, they had to race to get to a plumbing job to beat this other rival plumbing company. Whatever. Uh, so they see this woman who's like on a dig, like an archaeological right. oh, dig. Oh yeah, right. And she's wearing like this giant like meteorite around her neck. <laughs> Don't you remember? It, it wasn't was, like, that giant, was it? It was pretty big. I mean, it was like a crystal around her neck. It yeah. was bigger than you would see the normal person wearing. Sure, it was like it was a big piece of jewelry. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't like this. Like it wasn't like flavor flavor. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> it was not like flavor flavor. But she had a big piece of jewelry around her neck, yes. And so, like, she's having troubles or whatever, and they invite her to come with them for right. dinner. And I was like, and she's just, like, this sweet, innocent blonde girl. And I'm like, this is New York. These are strangers. You're going to get raped. Okay, so they go out with um, Mario and his girlfriend, whatever the fuck her name was. Yeah. She, she's just, a, like, the typical weed at, like, oh, Mario, <laughs> I can't believe you brought this brood along. <laughs> oh, we're going to have spaghetti and meatballs. That's basically his girlfriend, and <laughs> it is. Like she that? has like the big. Oh, she's got the hair. poofed out. She got the big hair. She's <laughs> she's a guidette. What can I tell you? <laughs> she asks. So the, his girlfriend, the guidette, asks her about the pendant she got, right? Mm -hmm. And she says, "Oh yeah, I had this on me when I was found." Yeah. Newsflash: She's an orphan. She doesn't have parents. She was found on a doorstep. Of a church. Of a church. And she's and... just like confessing her life history to these strangers. Right. She's like, oh, I never take this off. I yeah. never take it off. Ever. Even when I'm in the shower. Yeah. She doesn't say that. But, like, you Essentially. Intimate it. And then Luigi gets all hot for her because he was also found. Newsflash. He's not Mario's brother. <laughs> He's like he Mario's is uncle? An orf no. 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 Mario is like his. He says, he actually says, he's like, a brother, a cousin, and father, and uncle, and a mother wrapped into one. Oh. So that's the relationship they have. It's a weird relationship. Anyways, this is way too detailed. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> so eventually, they find a portal into another dimension. Actually, we should talk about the beginning sequence before this even starts. There's this guy with a heavy Brooklyn accent talking about uh, the dinosaurs and how a meteor crashed. So they're talking about basically this guy with a heavy New York accent is like, oh, it's the time of the do it's the time <laughs> of the dinosaurs. <laughs> and so a me so a media crashed into the ground. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm sorry. It's so bad. But uh, apparently in this universe, a meteor dinosaurs. crashes. Oh, go ahead. The meteor that kills the dinosaurs didn't actually kill the dinosaurs. It hit the ground so hard. That created, it created a, another dimension. Universe. 
where the dinosaurs survived and evolved into, into humans. humans. Right. So there's the regular New, New, like Brooklyn, New York, and then there's this like pocket dimension where dinosaurs are the you know superior life form and they evolved yeah. into humans. Somehow through the archaeological dig, I think they, they end up into they fall into this alternate dimension where Dennis Hopper playing uh, King Koopa is the le he is the king of this dimension where he controls it with an iron fist. He's like a dictator, and he has this. Right, like this beam, like this ray that he uses on people. Okay, it's a de-evolution ray. Like, okay, he can like, either. Okay, yes. Hold on, I need. To, yes, I need to interject. Yes, but anyway, so if somebody does something wrong, he's like, "I'm gonna de-evolve you." Right, and he like makes this declaration and he puts them in this chair, and this thing goes over them. Right, and basically turns them into a large person with like a well, frog slash it, it dinosaur has, head. It de-evolves them to like their lesser life form, apparently. But it ends up being this eight foot tall, enormous, like four foot wide creature with like tiny the tiniest like head. head. It, it's like a really weird, like lizard turtle, tiny head it's on disturbing. top of an enormous, enormous body. It was gross looking. Like yeah. I couldn't look at it. No, and they're then, all just like really stupid. But this machine can also make people like he has two henchmen during the movie, so you can turn it up, you know, where you can make people evolve more or make people de-evolve. Which, why didn't we just make everybody evolve more? Make them sh like, no smarter sense. and stuff. Well, because he doesn't want people to be smarter than him. I guess so. OBV, obviously. But he uh, makes his henchmen smarter. So they turn from like great, like idiots, like lunatic, like idiots, to being lunatic, smart, s sort of smart people. They use big words. And yeah. big sentences. That was like sentences. Much the only change. But they weren't it's smart. Like, they like... reminded me of, um, it reminded me of in The Wizard of Oz, you know yes. how when the, which one gets a brain? The, the, scare, the uh, scarecrow. scarecrow. And he's like, all of a sudden, he's like, you have a brain. And he's like, just says like, E equals MC squared. Yeah, right. Or whatever. Like That's he says like... a bunch of shit that doesn't, he doesn't know what it means. It's just like big <laughs> words and his vocabulary skyrockets. They, that's what they do. They just have like these big words. But they don't make any sense. Like the sentences don't make sense, and they just sound they sound dumber in a way. Like they're yeah. just like reading at the throat. But anyways, that we that is such a small portion of what's terrible about this movie. So essentially, I guess King Koopa has taken over this kingdom by de-evolving the former king, who was also goo. into. Uh, I guess it's a fungus, a fungus right? But it's like, but it's just like it's like snot. It's like, a, it looks like it's literally like. It's like booger cum <laughs> gelatin. It's like a gelatin of booger cum, basically. It's white and it's like gel and it's just it's like goop, basically, and it's gross. It's disgusting. Yeah, and apparently the archaeological the way that you describe it. <laughs> booger cum. <laughs> skeet skeet. Anyways, the archaeologists that comes with them is apparently the long lost daughter of this king. But she doesn't know because she doesn't, doesn't know who her parents are. It doesn't fucking... It's... But this it movie doesn't matter. so dumb. It's so dumb. It is. And see, this is one of those movies, and it's like a lot of the bad movies that we watch. Right. It doesn't have, like... Normal movies are supposed to be, like, events that <laughs> matter like, and stuff. We can't... They're, we, they're supposed to be, you know, like, a clear, like, storyline. A clear narrative. And, like, things happen that cause other things to happen. Right. But cause, in, cause and effect. Yeah. Cause and effect. There's no cause and effect But in this, movie. like... Things just keep happening, and right. then at the end, like she finds out that she needs to stay in like this parallel universe right. because she's the daughter of the guy who got turned they into. They eventually you. defeat the coup. I don't. There's so much dumb stuff happens in this movie. Like they're like these weird assassin women. Like they get mugged on the street immediately by this old woman. You remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do. She's like she like stole she's like, something from she them. Said, she steals. Oh, I remember this clearly. She's. <laughs> She said, oh, this is a rough neighborhood. Do you guys have weapons? She's like, oh, no, we don't have any weapons. She's like, okay. And she's like, oh, put them up. I need Koopa coins, you boneheads. I need Koopa coins. So she sticks them up for Koopa coins and then steals the meteorite from the chick. Yeah. But then she's immediately accosted by that large black woman. Do you remember her? I do remember that She gets, woman. like, tossed off of a freeway into a dumpster. Yeah. And this huge black woman steals the meteorite the, fragment. Um, and then 
And then Bob Hoskins, aka Mario, has to like, like fuck dance her in that like. Uh, he's like feeling up on her like, mm, like dancing on her and shit in that nightclub to get it back yeah it's weird it's weird it also was really bothering me firstly the set of this reminded me of Theodore Rex because it's like the rundown it's a rundown feature. like it's almost like Theodore Rex meets a grungier Pluto Nash right yeah like a weird like cartoonish it's very cartoonish Oh, wait, dystopian did, cartoonish. Did we mention that this is a live action? Oh movie? yeah, I guess we didn't really <laughs> mention that. Well, I, the actors in the movie should have given it away, but no, it's not a cartoon. You would think that Super Mario would be a good cart cartoon movie would be the best way it to do like it. Seems like a good Wreck It Ralph opportunity, but they made you know no. a Mario movie in the same vein as Wreck It Ralph would have been great. I know, but this movie was dog shit. It was the worst. It also really bothered me that there was. Petunia Dursley from Harry Potter. Oh, Harry yeah. Potter. She was uh, Ken Koopa's girlfriend. Yeah, and it was just unsettling. It was very unsettling. Because you're used to her being like this withholding, like, mean She was lady. like weird. She had a nice rack in this movie, and too. She was like real slutty looking yeah, in this. Yeah, she, nice, she had nice She hair, had like though. red hair or something, right? She had a good set. And it was just <laughs> weird because you're yeah. not used to seeing Petunia she Dursley. She was really like evil that. and like, I don't know. It was weird. It was so so essentially, I, I don't it. know. It's such a dumb fucking movie. Like, they get locked up and they escape and they somehow bring down the Koopa King and I don't know. They go back to Brooklyn eventually, but the girl stays behind. It. This so movie's dumb. It was garbage. It was it was literally like garbage. Like, it's it's once again as with all these videos it's been a week since we watched it so like little details are disappearing but which is a good thing because otherwise we would talk about this it, for way longer. Uh, we would talk about i could talk about this movie for an hour and a half if we talked about it right after the movie luckily we saved you from that this movie is garbage you would you recommend this movie that's the, no see I it's mean, a pill. It's a pi It's like a chore to watch this movie. But I think that is like essential viewing for bad movie. I'm like I'm all these recommendations I'm doing as like from the perspective that these people watching are gonna be people that want to watch bad movies. Yeah. And this is like sort of <clears throat> it's not essential viewing like maybe you know like the room or Birdemic like those are like. Pillars of bad movies. You can yeah. watch those, but this is one that I don't like. Should be, should be watched, not at first. Like give it some time, but get to this movie eventually, and just know that it's gonna be a pain in the ass to watch because it sucks. Yeah, like sh it sucks shit. <laughs> I'm also so. like wondering who is this movie even geared toward? Uh, children? No, because there's a lot of sexual innuendos and. I feel like, but nobody else would like it. Children wouldn't like it because it doesn't make any. It doesn't. It's not geared towards children. Yeah. It's not geared towards adults because it's so dumb. So who knows? They just missed the mark with everything. Every decision that, like, literally, like, if you were making a Mario movie, like, every decision that you would make, they did the opposite, and like, they picked the worst choice possible. Yeah. Essentially, that's what it is. This movie's dog shit. Don't. <laughs> she says, "Don't watch it." I don't. I don't disagree with you. I'm just saying you kind of have you, to. Yeah, you have to like really bite the bullet to. and like take it like a pill and watch it if you want to be a completionist like I am. I I just feel like as a bad movie lover, there are some you just have to like get through. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just feel say like you've done it. Right. Exactly. This is one you watch once and immediately just try and scrub your mind clean of what hap what you just watched. Yes, pretty much. That's all I got. But all right. Click clack. Let's do it.